Well, good morning again. Today we're going to do something on slotting and 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 uh, milling a deep pocket. Uh, the last couple of videos, I've had this uh, four inch by four inch, normally four inch by four inch block in here. It's about two inches, two inches uh, thick here. You can see it on here, and it's a uh, uh, 6061 aluminum hardened, I guess 25611, uh, and I've got one pocket milled here. First thing I did, and I think I brought it up uh, two videos ago about how to do a bolt circle, and I started off with four holes, a hole in each corner, based on about a three and a quarter inch circle. And uh, I used machine, machinist calculator on my tablet and PC to do that. There's plenty of software out there that tells you how to do it. And then I put uh, uh, interior holes because I'm going to have two pockets here. Uh, I've got one pretty much finished on this side. And tonight I'm going to start on this one here. The first one I did was high speed steel uh, end mill. I'm trying out a half inch carbide bit, see if I can get a little bit better feed and finish and that on this side. Uh, I prepared the block originally, and I, 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 I used my edge finders that we covered in the last video uh, to find this center, zeroed out my DROs, uh, zero there, and I calculated the, uh, the uh, bolt circle to put the four original bolts, and I, I put bolts in, or I put in holes here uh, because I want about a half inch partition between these two pockets and uh, this is a good a good exercise in, in how to drill or how to mill uh, good straight uh, uh, oh gosh I've lost the word here uh, not channels but uh, uh, well I'll have to figure out what, what <laughs> my my age is give me a mental block on that but anyway, you need some place to start with the, with the, uh, uh, before you can cut this pocket out. And so what I do is I mill a, I mill a, uh, clear around this pocket. Then I can get inside here and mill the rest of it out. Now doing a deep pocket is, uh, is more, oh, slot, slot is the word I was looking for. I've got to mill some slots clear around this and then I can take out the part that's in the middle. Uh, this kind of pocketing, they usually refer to as deep pocketing, is difficult because uh, the pocket's not going to go clear through the material. I'm going in about one inch deep, uh, which will leave us uh, uh, some on the bottom. So there's no place for the chips to go. So the slots have got to be cut with... Uh, uh, Keeping the keeping the uh, chip flow, keep, getting to keep the chips out, and I've got a I've got my air compressor handy, and I've got my little shop back here handy to keep those chips clear. The other thing that's absolutely essentially for cutting slots, besides keeping the chips out, is that any axis that you're not using has to be locked up. In this case, I'll be sure and lock my Y because I won't be using a Y at least on this first slot. Uh, and then when you get your when you get your head right, you lock it up good. And then each time you bring down your depth of cut, you lock up your quill. That's essential because if you're cutting any kind of slot, uh, It'll climb out or climb, it'll pull it, pull it into the workplace or you'll be getting, it'll take off at a tangent if you don't have your, uh, uh, everything locked up except the axis you're milling on. All right, so I'm going to start off here. Let's see. And I'm going to experiment with this depth of cut a little bit. This thing turned on. Uh, I'm going to turn it up to about 
500 RPM here as a start. And I'll bring this thing down to Just touching off there, <clears throat> and uh, so I'll zero my Z axis now. All right, so let's go ahead and try a 50,000 cut at 500 RPMs. Let's get in here. Let me make a try here. Okay. So there's my 50,000 cut, roughly. Now we'll try that first, and just see how this thing reacts to that. No, I don't have anything happening right now. What in the world? Okay. Let's get the thing in gear first, I guess. Okay. So that's pretty good clip there. Now I'm making a pretty good cut there at at uh Pretty good cut at 50,000. So I'm going to drop this with this carbide down to about 75,000 and just see how I do. All right, so let's go up here. We'll increase that by 75,000. Now, uh, if you're using power feed or if you're using the, the cranks, be sure you don't uh, mess up and head in the wrong direction. Uh, all right. Now, I'm going to turn this light on just a second to see how this is looking. Okay. Now that that is making a seventy-five thousandth cut pretty nicely, I think. Okay, so I go from one hole to the other. I'm gonna stop this thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then I'll brush those chips out of the way there. And send it back to the opposite direction for another cut. That's a matter of staying on top of this thing and, and uh, uh, and as I once I get this cut down to the to the bottom, then I'll uh, I'll do these other. Uh, slots until I've got to clear around it. Now, <clears throat> I'm not gonna. Oh, here, let's take another full 75,000 here. Let's see. Uh, I locked that and bring it down. Okay, I want to drop this about to 150 thousandths. And I've got my Y locked up good. Okay. Lock our Z here. Okay. And make another cut.
And right now, in these first cuts, of course, my chips are are being spun out of it. It's getting deeper. I'll have to use the vacuum cleaner a lot and and my spray, uh, my air hose to keep keep the chips out of there. Otherwise, it'll, it, it won't you won't get a very good finish and it won't mill very well. Okay, like I say, I've got it. I'll reverse it there. Bring it back the other way. <clears throat> I've got this set up where I'm using a conventional cut going over. And of course, on coming back, I'm just using a, I'm using what's called a climb cut. But I'm not increasing any. When I get to my finish, I might put three or four or five thousandths and do a climb cut just to get a better finish. It depends on what my tool is doing that. Okay. All right, now I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to bore you with uh, sitting here watching me for 40 minutes or so cutting these slots out. I'll come back a little later. And uh, and we'll restart the cameras and and I'll show you when I've made uh, quite a bit more uh, progress. See you in a bit. Thank you.